This is a Philostrator. This thing takes little bits of plastic and it extrudes it into 3D printer filament. I just got this from a friend from work and I've got an idea for it. Look at this! Oh, that's so cool! All right, so I drink a lot of Soylent. Like, a lot of Soylent. It's like 90% of my daily intake. So I end up with a ton of empty bottles. It just so happens that Soylent bottles are made from HDPE, which is a thermoplastic, and although it's really tricky to 3D print with it, you totally can. So when I got my hands on this Philostrator, I thought, how cool would it be if I made filament from all my empty Soylent bottles? I would literally never need to buy filament again. So today, that's what we're gonna try. So the Philostrator works by taking a bunch of little tiny plastic pellets and then extruding it into one long strand like what a 3D printer uses. Before I dive into making filament out of Soylent bottles, I'm just gonna try some regular old ABS just to get familiar with the machine and check and make sure everything works okay. My friend that gave me the Philostrator also gave me a bunch of ABS pellets to test with. All right, so I just turned on the heater and now we have to wait for a bunch of time for the hot end to get up to 180 degrees C. Okay, we're all up to temp. Now it's time to throw some ABS pellets into this hopper. There's this great file on Thingiverse, which is a hopper for the Philostrator that adapts to a two liter bottle. So you can just fill this whole thing full of pellets instead of having to like manually put them in there. It's way better. All right, it's time to load her up and see if we can make some filament. Oh, this is so exciting. Here we go. So cool! Alright, so this first test is coming out really consistently between 75 and 80 thou, which I don't know what that is in metric. My calipers only have imperial. Okay, so Google tells me that's somewhere between 1.9 and 2 millimeters. I think this nozzle was designed for a 1.75 millimeter filament, but my TAS 5 takes 2.85 or colloquially 3 millimeter. So I'm gonna drill this hole out and make it much bigger so it makes filament that fits my TAS. <laughs> and we're almost back up at temperature. Let's see if we get a bigger extrusion. <laughs> so I'm shooting for 2.85 and I'm getting half 2.9 and half 2.8. <laughs> That's perfect. Cool. This is filament. I just made this in my apartment. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, enough fun and games. Now it's time to use Soylent bottles. Hi, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Stephen Hawes. Today, we'll be making a delicious Soylent bottle filament from scratch. First, peel a fresh Soylent bottle and remove the stem. Cut into pieces around an inch square. Then, add them to your blender. Add two cups of water to help with blending. Blend on high for 20 minutes or until pieces are around one centimeter. Next, strain and spread evenly in a baking pan. Bake at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to remove all excess moisture. Mmm, smells delicious. Preheat your fill extruder to 155 degrees Celsius. Add in the blended mixture and extrude slowly. And there you have it folks, a nutritious and delicious filament recipe ready in 60 minutes or less. Okay, so in all seriousness, after cutting, blending, washing, and extruding, I got some filament. I found that adding a little bit of water to the blender helps keep things like lower down near the blades. Otherwise it just gets kicked up to the top and doesn't actually cut. I also found tilting the blender at 45 degrees on an angle actually works really well. You get kind of this like filtering motion. It kicks it up to the top and then slides down and it cuts way faster for some reason. Then I just baked it in the toaster oven to get all the water from the blender off of it. And then after a lot of trial and error, I found that extruding at 155 degrees Celsius out of the fill extruder is like 
pretty much the best you're gonna get, at least in my experience. And then you get a bunch of filament. This stuff is really hard to work with. It is not an easy plastic at all. It bubbles and I'm pretty sure mine wasn't like the absolute cleanest because sometimes the extrusion would have like this flaky thing on the outside of it. I think I probably just didn't clean the bottles very well and it was just a little bit of residue soylent or some coating they put on the bottle, I'm not sure. So now it's a new day and I'm gonna try and actually print with this stuff. I've read a lot online about how difficult it is to print with so I'm hoping I have some good luck but I'm expecting it to be very, very annoying. <laughs> works. I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning of this project, I kind of didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. I figured I would end up trying for like two full days and failing and then never posting any of this footage, but it works. Granted, these are some of the worst prints I've literally ever seen in my life, but they still print. This is 100% Soylent Bottle. So far, I've only gotten two successful prints with just pure Soylent bottle filament. Of course, a Benchy, just to see how it performs there, along with this standard like cube print that I print all the time. The reason these prints are so bad is because HDPE has a really, really high coefficient of thermal expansion. It's like twice as much as ABS, and that means it's gonna shrink so much more as it cools down and it's gonna warp, and it's just really difficult to print with. So you get all these gnarly overhangs and curls, and it's just bad news. It's not good for 3D printing. So what I'm trying now is mixing in the soylent material with other raw material like ABS and PLA. I don't know if you can hear my printer in the background right now, but I'm actually trying to print a blend of ABS and Soylent bottles mixed together. And hopefully that stuff warps a little bit less than this, because this is just really, really hard to print. So now, the next logical step is to print something wacky about Soylent using filament made from Soylent bottles. I've got a couple ideas, but I want to hear what you guys think. If you have any ideas about weird stuff I should print with Soylent bottle filament, throw it in the comments and I just might build it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post updates about my projects before I post them to YouTube. All right, thanks for watching.